man. You are a tiny calf, buddy. Where's your mother? You stand up for me, little guy? You doing okay? Where's your mom at? It's not really cold out. He feels pretty warm. I don't know where his mom went, but look at the size of him. He's teensy teensy. He probably hasn't got any milk yet. I mixed up some colostrum because I just didn't think this little calf had sucked. So I was going to give him some colostrum, but his mom must have found him. Not a very nice looking cow, actually. I'm not a fan of her. <laughs> but I'm not sure still if he's sucked or not. So I'll just tube feed him a little bit and then he can get up, get some strength and hopefully suck off his mother. There we go. Right to the belly. All right. All right, all gone. Hopefully that helps. We'll have to come check him in a little bit. We found a home for both of those little bottle calves we had. You guys saw me graft the one onto the mother. That was 21. And then the other one we put on another cow. I don't quite remember the story on her. But now we've got this little bugger, his mom. It's just kind of an old cow and she dried up, had no more milk, so we're bottle feeding him until we can find him a new mother. One thing we wanted to do today is take the group of cow and calf pairs that are in front of the house, just straight down this lane out in a pasture in front to a pasture back behind the house. So how we do that is we trail them just down through this alleyway, through this gate, and then there's a little creek down in the bottom over here. You bring them across and then they're out into the next pasture. But the calves really don't like crossing the little creek. So we were gonna put in a little culvert and make a little crossing. Makes it a lot easier for the cows and calves to cross the creek. But we kind of got in a little predicament. So if we go down here to where the little creek crossing would be, we were just gonna put a culvert down at the bottom, right down in here. You can see the back hose down there. I'm currently stuck down there. But there's this steep little hill. It's a lot steeper than it looks on camera. But my plan was to bring in some gravel, slowly make it down there, because this is all frozen. It was all icy and frozen, this whole little hillside. So I was bringing some gravel down so I could make it down to the bottom and then haul gravel down here and make a crossing with the culvert. But it didn't work out as planned. It was really slick yesterday. It was like 60 degrees, so everything was melting. The top of this was all frozen. This is all super slick. This is all ice here. It, it froze up again, but it was really slick yesterday. So I was hauling gravel down and I got to about here and then I just ended up sliding all the way down. You can see my slide marks right here. So then I was stuck down at the bottom trying to get back out, but I couldn't because it was just too, the top was too frozen and then it just got a little mucky and I got ended up getting stuck down here. But since it is a backhoe, I was going to try and use the backhoe arm, the bucket, to kind of push myself out of here, try and get out of here, get some more gravel down, and kind of start the process over again. But I ended up breaking a fitting on one of our hydraulic hoses. So I got stuck down here, which was probably okay. I probably would have flipped the backhoe over yesterday. I tried to get out a couple times, and I just slide over to the side and then kind of start tipping over this edge. So it's getting a little dangerous. And the backhoe arm is stuck on this end. So all the weight was on this side and it kind of slopes at a weird angle. So going up, sliding this way, tipping over that way, just wasn't sounding very fun. So it was probably a blessing that we did break down down here and I wasn't able to get out yesterday. But we do have to get out of here today if we're gonna try and move these cows. So I'm gonna put this new hydraulic hose on quick and then my dad's gonna come over Maybe we'll be able to hook the tractor up and pull me out of here. I don't know, we'll see. Hey guys, I just wanna take a minute and tell you about the sponsor of today's video, which is Bespoke Post. So Bespoke Post is a monthly membership club that sends you a box of awesome every month. 
So each box of Awesome has about a $70 value, but you only pay a fraction of the price. 90% of the products that come in bespoke post boxes are come from small brands, many of which are based right here in the US. You only pay for what you want. So you'll get a box assigned to you each month based on the quiz you take when signing up. And before the boxes are shipped, you'll get a preview of what comes inside the box. And from there, you can either decide to keep that box, swap it out for a different box, or just skip the month entirely for no charge. But yeah, let's go in and open a couple of these boxes that we got. This first box I got is called the Forge Box. So we're gonna dive into it. It's like we got a really nice knife. Check that thing out. Super sweet, super nice. Made in America. This is just an example of something that would come in a monthly subscription box. Beautiful knife, very beautifully made blade. Check her out. I'm a knife guy, so I love to see these knives. I was really interested in a lot of the knives they had, so I would really suggest going and checking those out. I can use my new knife to open the next box. Nice and sharp. This bottom box is actually Damaris's. She already opened it. Unfortunately, she isn't here right now, so she isn't gonna do the unboxing, but I'll unbox her is for her. So this box is called the Frontier Box. Looks like we got a notebook and a cool little baggie. Let's see what's in here. A bottle opener, very nice. Comes in handy. This is an ink pen. Another cool little knife, like that a lot. This box is the Frontier box. And some ink cartridges. So they must go into this pen. You can write on it on your new brand new notebook. Perfect for writing your wife a little love note, fellas. You know, we gotta keep dating our wives. Let's dive into this box of Damaris's. I thought she'd really like this one. So I told them to send it. Pretty neat stuff here. Let's take a look. So, got a little garden box, some little soil pellets, and a bunch of little seeds that she can plant in here. So there's some basil, some cilantro, some peppermint, Oh man, lots of stuff. Thyme, oregano, and a little clippers so she can clean them up and throw them in our food. I know she's probably gonna love this. She's been really talking and excited about starting a garden this summer and now we can start it even sooner inside. So this was the grow box. Really cool, awesome box. Once you guys click on the link that I'm gonna share with you, it's gonna bring you to a quiz on Bespoke that's gonna cater these boxes on to how you answer these questions. So it just kind of gains your interest on these different categories and then that tailors how each box is gonna be sent to you. Then just kind of an example on Bespoke of what the stuff they have. I'll just click the new, see what they've got for new stuff. Lots of different cool new things, hats, clothes, knives, watches, all sorts of cool stuff. Men's stuff, outdoor stuff, ladies stuff. A lot of cool stuff. It's just kind of fun to come on here and, and look around and see what kind of stuff you could get in a box one day. To get 20% off the first box of awesome, click the link in the description and enter the code at checkout, SleepR20. Or go to bespokepost.com backslash SleepR20. Let's get back to work. The hose that broke was the one that gets the arm to swing back the other way, so it's stuck on this side. But I got it back, put back on, so we'll see if it works. Yeah. My dad's gonna haul a little more gravel down here, then we can see if I can drive out. But I'm gonna pull some of this dirt away, then pull the culvert down and pull this dirt over the culvert. Try and get it started at least.
All that gravel helped a lot. <laughs> I didn't think I'd be able to drive out, but <laughs> we were able to. <laughs> Man, yeah. just wet and sloppy. Yeah, and icy. And icy. I guess that crossing will work for today. It'll be all right. We need to do some work this summer. Oh yeah, I think a lot. Yeah. Well, this is what we came up with. I ended up just digging a bunch of this dirt over. My dad's gonna haul some more gravel. I was able to drive out of here. It wasn't that sketchy, but. But adding some gravel on the hill, that helped a lot. Yeah, this was the worst part, just getting over this hump. Yeah. And then turned around. Yeah. I think the calves will cross a lot easier. Oh, yeah. They don't really nice like... Fishing ponds, huh? Yeah, no kidding. Throw some trout in there. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's time to move the cows. So here's where they are. You can see a handful of them. And the goal is just those flat top hills up behind the house. Not too far to go, but with all the calves, it just can be kind of a hassle. There's the big eagle that's been pestering them. Come on, girls. On little gabbies. Come on. side-by-side side, mom. I love it. You love it? I think you guys do too. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Come on, Cass. No, don't go in there. Hey. Hey. Come on, calf. Come on. Hey. Come on, little buggers. Come on. Hey. Come on. Come on, little guys. Hey. 
Un cap. Come on. Over the creek, little guys. Hey. Come on, you gotta go the other way. Come on. Come on. Come on, squirt. Come on. Hey. Go down there. Come on. The cows are coming back. Hey, come on. Come on. Come on. Come on, hey. Hey. Hey, 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 hey. Yeah, a lot easier than pastures. Cook crossing helps a lot. Uh, oh yeah. Come on, guys. Come on, squirts. Come on, little buggers. Come on, little guys. No joke. There's days that we were it's the middle of the afternoon and we'd be taking care of some that kept going back. Oh yeah. <laughs> or not even getting them across the creek. <laughs> that crossing's a lot nicer. Go on. Go find your moms. Come on. Go find your moms. Now we'll just wait a while, let them get paired up. This little bugger from this morning, I just came over here a few minutes ago. He was chasing his mom around trying to get a drink, so he must feel a lot better, which is good. Tamaris and Silas headed back east to Sioux Falls, spent a couple days with her family this week. So it's just me, but I'm looking forward to them coming back in a couple days. So hope you guys are all doing well. Thanks a lot for coming along today. Really appreciate it. We'll see you in the next one.